Hello, hello, hello. Sucrose here. It's been a while since I streamed. Uh, I thought I would give it a shot. I've been playing this game called Noida, or Noida, or something. I think it's Finnish, and it means witch. Uh, it's, a, it's a roguelike. It's really interesting. Um, and I still haven't beaten it, so I'm gonna, gonna give it a shot. I came super, super, super close. Um, just making sure everything's working. And I think it is. Um, I came ridiculously close once. I was fighting the final boss and, um, and I died. So hopefully I can get back there. Um, all right, let me just check one thing. <clears throat> so it's kind of, um, well, it's a roguelike and with permadeath and there's, um, there's almost no progression, meta progression. Um, I think there's a little bit, maybe, I'm not even sure if it's implemented properly, but certain things you can pick up and then you can pick them up on future runs. But, um, but there's no way to improve your starting conditions or anything like that. Um, so in that sense it's pretty, oh yeah, I wanted to just to give it a, um, to make sure we got a random seed here. <coughs> All right, let's go. So, uh, yeah, I'll be trying to explain how it works as we go along. But you're this witch. You can fly for a period of time indicated in the top right. And um, you can put together wands that uh, can shoot and all sorts of other things. Um, whoa. And uh, as you see, there's all sorts of little pixel junk <coughs> everywhere. That that monster we just killed um, released some toxic ooze when it died, and that stuff can hurt us. And um, can get caught on fire. We've got down here a barrel of whiskey. There's all sorts of different liquids and solids that can uh, apply effects. Uh, pretty unforgiving game. It's not exactly. Oh, I've I've never seen this before. So. Can't can't actually get out. Um, the world is randomly generated, and there there is a secret up there um, that usually you have to find special wands to get to, and it, it seems like we still do. But it's awful close. Um, we can almost escape there. Um, and if you can get out, you can you can get uh, a little bonus, some health. Oh dear. Okay. So very very weak in the beginning. You have whoa. You have a small amount of health. Uh, pretty shitty weapon. And uh, hopefully we can find a better wand, some health upgrades, something like that. Um, one thing that makes this game really interesting is that uh, 
you can combine... Uh oh, that's a bad guy. You can combine all sorts of interesting little spells to make more powerful wands. Oh, so he, he spits out lava when he dies. Um, there's a lava pit over here to the right. There's a general... Ow. There's a general shape to the, to the world, but, um, but it's overall random. And so you don't know what, what you might find. Oops, 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 oops. Chaotic polymorphine. Definitely didn't want to... Um, definitely didn't want to break that. So enemies are going to get in it and they're going to transmute into other enemies. Uh, which is going to make our job much more difficult. Let's just ignore it. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. We're going to go over here. Um, fire flask so that's handy at the beginning we have no way of setting fires but uh, with this fire flask we should be able to set some fires and sometimes it's useful to just get to places that you know might have treasure um, oh, oh, oh. so it kind of reminded me of Spelunky at first um, but it has very different pacing there's no pressure at all to, you know, speed through. Um, in Spelunky, there's a there's a timing aspect where if you <clears throat> if you spend too long on one level, um, some ghost monster will come and, and chase you, and you have to rush through. Here, it's only advantageous. Uh, if, you, if you can safely explore to, uh, to just keep exploring and hope you find something. So we've got a little health upgrade here below this whiskey thing. And um, we had no way of getting to it before we got this fire flask, but uh, we can burn, burn through it and the whiskey will uh, light up and then this wooden box should burn through. So, yeah, this kind of interacting with the environment is, is pretty crucial. Um, there's all sorts of traps. This barrel will explode. This box will explode, spewing um, oil all over the place. And if you get covered in oil, then you're, you get caught off, set on fire. It's hard to put yourself out, stuff like that. All right. <clears throat> the game is super stingy. Um, like that health upgrade we got, it doesn't actually improve your health until you get to the end of the level. The um, each general, like I said, there's an overall structure to the dungeon, and um, basically. When you get to the bottom of one area, you, you can get to the next area. Um, it's, it's kind of more interesting than that, actually. You can actually go between the areas, the shortcuts. Um, um, it's, it's interesting. But, uh, but my point was that when you get to the bottom you, you, uh, of an area, oh, you can refill your health. So what happened there is I stepped in this this uh, poisonous liquid and I'm trying to wash myself off. We have uh, <clears throat> three flasks um, water, fire, and teleportation now. So I'm just spraying myself with water. Water also converts the toxic sludge to um, To water, 
which is nice because you can use it to get rid of uh, uh, of the sludge. <coughs> there's, a, there's an egg here. Eggs have like helper enemies, followers, pets, kind of. Um, I think I'll pick it up. Just looking to make sure that everything is working. Like I said, it's been a while since I streamed. Um, okay. Game is very stingy with slots as well. Um, just the slots that you can use to hold stuff. You, you've got four wand slots and four item slots. Uh, and you, you never have enough. Ooh, look at all of those little dudes. It's kind of interesting. The gold that they drop actually blocks shots and uh, kind of piles up and becomes a nuisance if there's a bunch of enemies on that spot. All right, we've got a chest here. Now, we start with three bombs. It also kind of reminds me of Splunky, but um, you can use those to get to places that you can't find a path to, but I don't want to waste them just yet. So we'll actually look and see if we can't uh, just walk to that. <clears throat> There's another chest. Invisibilium. Okay, so get rid of the egg. Pick that up. Um, now there is a, it's kind of interesting, there is, what do you call it, um, alchemy. Whoa. And I've never had a lot of luck with it, but I know that you can get some things by mixing, um, whoops, mixing stuff together and um, what the, 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 what am I trying to say? The formulas for the things that you mix together actually are, are variable depending on the seed as well. So you don't know what it takes to, to get things. You can get like healing uh, potion and um, I think you can also get a potion that creates gold out of stuff. I've never actually done it, but I do know that it's possible. Okay, so we've got a wand, not an attacky wand, but um, one that might be useful. Okay, this kind of looks shitty too. So we can uh, we can make some blood appear. Um, it's also got this nice. Um, magic bolt which is a nice thing so we'll definitely want to hold on to this um, you can't rearrange these spells until you get to the to the end of the level something burned through all this stuff um, and then the wands it's it's a pretty complicated thing the wands have all these attributes cast delay recharge time things like that that you have to look at so you have to get good wands good spells mix them together in a, in a smart way um, there's our little buddy. So let's keep going down and see if we can come back around to get to the chest. And there's also spells that let you dig through the earth and um, more reliable, uh, renewable ways of. Whoop! Okay, that that was painful. I think he uh, he became not so friendly. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have let him run around. Jesus. See how kind of shitty our starting uh, starting weapon is. We took a lot of damage there. Now, I like the game because it's a it's a mix of platforming and thoughtful uh, 
Um, you've got like the twitch kind of react quickly thing. Oh, you're on fire, put yourself out, that kind of thing. Um, but also making long-term decisions. You've got to figure out what you should hold on to and what you should leave alone. Um, and, and resource management, and whoa! Don't usually see that much lava just hanging around the middle of a level. Don't want to fall into it. Basically instant death. Uh, still can't get across though to... Now the corpse of the one dude is blocking me from shooting the other, but we got to him. That was bad. That was bad luck. Or uh, skill. <coughs> um, you may have seen this little purple glow. Yeah, here we go. This will take you to kind of a safe space between areas, but we haven't gotten all the stuff I think we can get. So I'm, I'm going to try to avoid going into the teleport. Um, if we get hit, um, probably the most annoying thing in this game is when you get hit, you fall. You, you stop floating and you can't float anymore for a few seconds. Uh, maybe even until you hit the ground. Um, so if, he, if somebody pops us when we're over top of that uh, Tell uh, that teleport. Hey, Vala, what's up? Um, then we'll fall in, and and uh, and that'll be no good. So let's see. Let's take it slow. We got a lot of fire and uh, pain. Oh, he's a, he's a bad guy. He's got a lot of health, and he throws these uh, fireballs. Yeah, pay a visit. Yeah. It's uh, pretty different from Paladins, this game, but I enjoy it quite a bit. I've been playing it a lot recently. Have you played this? Uh, yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> uh, it used to be pretty long. Uh, kind of a shitty wand. So these things are non-renewable attacks. And um, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's the chest we were actually looking for, though. So let's keep going. Oh, he's a bad, he's a bad guy too. So he spits acid that will actually burn through uh, the level. You see in the right there, it's kind of burning holes, and then the this gas is explosive and flammable. So we need to be careful. There's the chest we were looking for. Let's see if we can catch this on fire, see how it looks. I love the little particle simulation. It's, it's a very pretty game. There we go. Wow! That is a lot of bombs. Yeah, I think so. It's it's pretty interesting. There's a lot to it. Um, I still haven't won. Oh boy, but I got really close once. Hopefully I have better luck on stream. So uh, we're basically one or two shots from dying we haven't explored this whole area, but we, we've gotten a number of uh, decent wands. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the whoa, go to the exit and um, get that health. Uh-oh. Uh, get our health back up. There's also a shop at the end of each level, and um, get to collect some perks. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, these things are bad news. So you're brought to this area that's relatively safe. There are some things that can hurt you in here, but we get a health up. And um, let's see what we've got. Magic arrow is pretty decent. We shouldn't suck at platformers. Yeah, I I have to say, uh, I mean, I've been playing platformers for like. 35 years I guess and and I feel like um, what always kills me in this game is bad platforming so uh, all right slime blood toxic sludge immunity and saving grace I'm not really big into any of these how much gold do we have so we can reroll once it the rerolling doubles each time uh, saving grace is kind of interesting but I'd really like, there's a couple that you want to get at the beginning, and it's kind of like, should we reroll to, to hopefully get one of those? Um, get into some interesting meta game questions. Uh, don't look that old. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's... I'm gonna reroll. Extra HP, melee immunity, all seeing eye. Let's, let's go for sight. So now there's no uh, fog of war, and it'll be easy to explore. Um, all right, what do we wanna buy? Maybe this magic arrow. All right, so let's let's make a nice little wand here. Um, that's a that's a pretty decent one. Um, you do have a lot of slots here to keep spells, which is nice, but uh, uh, but your actual wands are very limited. So let's see. So. That's pretty, that's pretty decent there. <clears throat> you see, it's got a fairly big spread. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I feel like uh, this would be, this would be, this is definitely a good wand to have on the second level. Um, and then this is kind of interesting. So once you pass this gap, Closes off, and uh, you have to do interesting things to, to get around it if you want to go back. All right. So each level is distinctly harder than, than the previous. Um, I feel like I've never had the opportunity to use one of these. Like, it never made sense. But uh, we'll pick it up just in case. I feel like you need um, you need a lot of perks that protect you from things, like explosions and fire. And then, and then you can make a spell that sets everything on fire or something like that. Um, oh. Okay, so see how we got shot in the air and we fell? And that dropped us into that pit. I think that bullet still hit us, even though it bounced. Ugh. All right. Well, we've lost 25 health already. That's okay. So it's important to go slow, but uh, kind of gets tedious if you go too slow. Okay, wash off in the water. Uh, 
Yeah, I think one thing this game could improve on, um, which has always been a thing of mine, like you don't want the optimal strategy in a game to be unfun. And I think that the optimal strategy in this game is to go so excruciatingly slowly that it's just not, it's just not very fun. Um, and there's ways to get around that. Um, like if you look at uh, Dead Cells, Dead Cells will reward you for going fast by opening up special areas that you can't get to unless you go fast. Yeah, Binding of Isaac. Yeah, I think it's it's very similar there. There's there's essentially no penalty for going slow, and um, and so if you don't explore every room, you, you know you really uh, are bound to miss out on some good stuff. Um, games like NetHack and and other traditional roguelikes or rogue uh, rogue like games. Uh, have food or something like that, some some resource that is finite or you know hard, relatively hard to get, and then that keeps you moving. Uh, not a big fan of that weapon either. I'll just show you how it looks. Um, and so yeah, to make sure you don't starve, you've got to keep moving, and that that makes it pretty interesting. You. Uh, at least until you get infinite food or some, some way to farm food or something like that. So there's a shop up here. We can buy one spell from it. Um, what do we got here? Ooh. So, so this would be maybe an interesting wand if we, if we uh, didn't take damage from slime. But we do. And see how it drops a trail of slime as it goes. So let's just tuck that away for now. Okay, can we get up here? Can we make it over there? Certainly got enough bombs. The problem with bombs is you can't you can't shoot them up because they're on a timer. So you've got to find some place to put them to drop them. Uh, there's a wand up there too. Let's let's try to go through here. Burn that down. Uh, yeah. So I I don't know if the if the dark cells idea would be great, like just to force you to speed through or to to encourage you to speed through. Um, whether the game would be more fun if it were more like Spelunky, and and actually put a time limit on each on each area. I'm not really sure, but as it is, it kind of gets frustrating. Uh, because if you don't take all the time in the world, you, you're definitely going to miss out on something. Oh my gosh. All right. So this definitely lets us get up here. But can't get across. Now we might be able to bomb. Let's let's bomb here. This will be a safe way to do it, I think. Whoops. Um Yeah, all of the train is destructible. I, I think there might be some blocks that you can't destroy, but um, with the, with the right spells, I kind of think uh, you can destroy anything. Um, there's some spells that will eat through even hard material, but you can see if you if you hover over these things with the cursor, it tells you this is coal, um, this is brick, wood, rock. There's different kinds of rocks, um, soft rocks and harder rocks, and um, It's pretty neat. It's all simulated. So like this sand, it's not really sand, it's gunpowder, but um, we can kick it 
and it actually, you know, s sprays off. And uh, if we light it on fire, it'll explode. Uh, there's a little rock there, extremely dense rock. It's a rock preventing us from going down. So, before we blow it up, let's look down here. So, I mentioned this earlier, but one trick is if you, if you want to land in some slime, fill it with water first. Uh, all right, so I know we're looking for a wand I don't quite remember where it was. Oh, is that it? You see that when this bomb went off, like certain things that are tough uh, didn't uh, didn't get blown up. Right, what do we got here? Ooh, basically a lightsaber kind of thing. So, yeah, we can use this. It's it's a shitty... The wand itself is shitty, but the spell actually allows us to dig through stuff. So when we get to the end of the level, we can put this in a better wand and uh, use it as a digger. Uh, PWC? I, I don't even know what PWC is. Paladins something. I, I don't follow Paladins at all. Um, I just did stats for it. <clears throat> Let's blow this up. Paladins World Championship. Yeah, I have... Nope. I haven't played Paladins in... Um, since July or something like that. Maybe August, when, last time I streamed. Yeah, I mean, even when I did play, I didn't really watch pro stuff, you know. Um, I'm, I'm more interested in just playing it if, if I'm going to play. So this is, a good, this is a good spell here, this Concentrated Light. Let's pick that up. Uh, right, I think that's everything we wanted from this area, so now let's swing back around and go down. We've been pretty lucky with the enemies so far. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like, it's like anything. I'd rather play soccer than uh, watch soccer. I mean, I... The idea of watching soccer is terrible. I'm not really a sports kind of guy, but uh, you know, I'd rather play basketball than watch basketball. Uh, Ninety percent win loss in this in this championship. That's that's great. That's uh, seems like the matchmaking wasn't very good. If you've got. Uh, 90% win loss. <coughs> Was this a tournament kind of thing? All right, we want to pay attention to the wands themselves too, to get a good wand to put stuff in. But um, this has a really long recharge time, so I'm not crazy about it. All right, let's make sure we've seen everything to the right, and then we'll swing back to the left. <coughs> Yeah, you saw the purple teleported below, so we're we're at the bottom of this area. Um, did you place or anything like that? Seems like a ninety percent win loss. You would have gotten pretty far. I guess the thing about a tournament is if it's single elimination or you know. Even double elimination, there's not many opportunities to lose, I suppose. EO is a champion. Now, I know who EO is. Uh, EO was around when I quit. Well, all right, looks like we're at the bottom right, so let's uh, swing back left.
Now you can fill up these little bottles, which is it's pretty interesting. It's not clear when you first start playing, but you can uh, even put different things in different uh, different things in the same bottle, all sorts of stuff. Whoa! Now this is interesting. I don't know if I've seen this before. A health upgrade just sitting at the bottom there. But I'll take it. Should we bomb in from the top or try to get it from the side? Let's go from the top. Somehow we stepped in some oil. I think there was a patch right there, so... Uh... Oh! Oh! <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. That was... I did not mean to go in that. I just lifted my arm for a second. Well, we're not going to get that wand, but... Uh, uh, we're safe, at least. Critical and burning... Procedurally generated? Yeah, the whole thing, every... Uh, every area is random. Um, all the wands and all the pools of whatever are random. These perks are random, spells are random. It's very, very random. Alright, extra perk. All seeing eye. What, what would be the point of getting the same thing twice, I wonder? So extra perk, I think, gives us four at the end of the level. That's pretty useful to get at the beginning, but it also is kind of like a wasted perk because it doesn't give you anything either. But, um, but we'll go with that. All right. <sighs> kind of wishing we'd get a a wand shot, but let's let's see what we got here. So. That is incredibly slow recharge time. This one's decent. More... Uh, better spread, but fewer items. I think that's okay. It doesn't have shuffle, which is nice. <clears throat> so let's... Let's see, we're starting to burn up mana. So that's as long as we can hold it down before it has to charge back up. But that's pretty good. I like that. Um, an NES controller? I actually haven't been playing this with the controller. I'm, I'm just using a mouse. Um, because it's I feel like it actually is better for a mouse because it's that twin twin stick, so move with Wazda um, and then aim with the mouse so you can aim in, in any direction. I'm sure you could play it with a controller, but but be <laughs> because of my generation, uh, I, I didn't grow up with those twin twin controllers with the two joysticks. I, I guess people who did, they that uh, that might work for them, but uh, I, I've never figured it out. Alright, let's build ourselves a cutter. So, maybe... Maybe this one. Ooh, it really runs out of mana real quick. Um, but with this we can cut through pretty much anything. Yeah, D-pad master is. I'm, I'm with you there. So we can even cut through brick with this stuff. Uh, we don't want to cut through this brick because it'll piss off the gods. But kind of thinking so we can we can get rid of our bombs if we need to if we find a better wand and then use this. Um, hopefully we can get something with better mana.
better mana uh, regen. I'm kind of thinking throw throw one of these in here. Boy, that took a lot of mana. Let's uh, let's get rid of that. All right, I like that. So that's going to be our main weapon. We've got the cutter, and then we'll drop the bombs if we need to. Uh, I'll keep uh, I'll keep one of them. All right. So what else we got? 170, we can buy this. That's decent. That actually takes mana too, so we'll save that for later, but uh, that'll be really nice if we can get immune to fire. Uh, Work-life balance? Yeah, well, it's certainly, it's certainly a pleasure not having to deal with, um, with high res. Uh, it's much more, I, I, I mean, it, it got, it got quite stressful, uh, because I'd wake up and all of a sudden, you know, things would be on fire and it's like, uh, I, I wasn't planning on, you know, writing code all day, but, uh, I guess, uh, I guess I have to just to keep things working. Um, now I don't have to deal with that, so that's that's nice. Uh, so this cutter is great. We can cut through here. The, the only problem is that we keep running out of mana awfully quick. This is interesting. So this is a tunnel that we did not build. Could be a worm. But I don't see any other tunnels, so it's kind of a weird thing. Um... The stuff that this dude is dropping is cold gas. Don't want to touch it. Okay, we over touched it, but that's okay. Just a little bit of damage. So this is this is uh, this is definitely a hard area. Uh, a lot of runs end in this area. There's sniper dudes and machine dudes that have a lot of health. Um, so we're gonna have to be careful here. If I can get to the right. Oh look, it is a worm. Look, see a worm has come through here and eaten, eaten through these uh, these walls. If we can find the worm, oh, there's a dude who's shooting us from pretty far. Oh, that's a sucky thing. Uh, don't have a great weapon, and he's really far away, so I'm going to just ignore that for now. Maybe we can sneak up to him. Oh, what's this glow in here? It's a wand. A couple of bad guys. A lot of bad guys, it looks like. Okay. One down. Now, I'm in no rush. There's infighting among the enemies, which is really interesting because... Uh, oh, there's the worm. Do you see him on the right? I don't know how they work, but I think if he's aware of me, he'll try to get to me. You can kind of see the level shaking around us. Um, so I wanted to get to this. Oh, we got put on fire there. And this is pretty crap. Very accurate, 
<clears throat> Put a two second recharge. Oh man, look at all these. Oh, there's a sniper. Oh, there's another sniper. What do we got here? Polymorphine. So polymorphine turns you into a sheep, at which point, I, I think if you die as a sheep, you die for real. Uh, so that's incredibly dangerous just to be hanging around. In fact, I can imagine this is a bad, really bad idea. If we get hit, remember, we can't, we can't fly anymore. We, we fall, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that place alone. Uh, we've still got a decent amount of health, so I'm going to keep, ooh, this is a baddie. Let's let them, let's let them kill each other. So that, yeah, as you can see, that thing is uh, the thing is pretty rough, and it stuns you. There we go. Dropped a lot of gold. I think there's another sniper. Is that right? Could have fallen down. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh. Good mana recharge. This is interesting. So these are, we're, this is this beam of light we have. I really like this thing. I don't know if it's going to be good by itself. Whoa. Ooh, I like that. So it always casts homing. Let's uh let's try this out. This is pretty interesting. All right, so we made it to the right edge of the snow biome. Now there is a wait, wait. Why, why did it curve away? Is this not? Uh... Oh, this isn't homing. This is this is the one that doubles back. So, the, oh, oh shit, 33 health. Okay. So maybe this isn't the best, the best wand for this. So these, these arcs are actually trying to come back and hit us. They're not uh, homing, they're doubling back. Um... That's kind of a shame, but we can keep this and we can use it for, if we ever find a healing beam, we can use it to heal ourselves. Um, I think I'll, I think I'll switch back to this for now. So <clears throat> you might've noticed there's this path here. We can actually go over here to the right and make it back up to where we were before. Um, the problem is uh, the the health the health um, refills they don't respawn so once we've used them they're gone for good so any damage we take is just we just have to deal with that damage um, till we get to the bottom of the snow biome but what I am going to do is come over here we're going to climb this wall on the right and there's a secret that gives you a little health boost, just a 25. But um, <clears throat> I think we could use as many as we can find. 
this has a downside though which is that it makes the boss have more health but um, I'm not so convinced we're going to be able to make it to the boss so let's let's increase that those odds Now, if we wanted to be really aggressive, we could basically use this to go back up to that previous area and then... Um... Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna... I don't know if we can make that. Okay. Uh, we can go back to that previous area and then explore it more thoroughly. What is that? Diamond? So secret, uh, pick up a little max health there. And then this is kind of a uh, lower thing. You can, you can also use it to get gold, but that's uh, kind of time consuming. You have to carry it all the way back to the beginning. Now, I think that explosion that just happened is to indicate to us that the game has gotten harder. And uh, like I said, the boss is going to have more health. But um, but now that we have a little more health, we have a better chance of getting to him. So let's, let's go with that. All right. Back to the ice biome. There's a lot, a lot of secrets. There's people who are making videos about this game, and the game is crazy in terms of secrets. I've found four. I think there's, I, I don't know, there's, I think it's more than ten. And then there's all sorts of complicated stuff you can do. <clears throat> Getting multiple secrets together, and then... Um, doing things with them. Don't remember. That wand. Yeah, so monsters can pick up wands too. Um, humanoid monsters has pretty low it's a good wand it only has four slots and it has a low recharge speed so I don't um, don't know if I want it okay so there's the bottom we're okay on health so let's keep exploring a bit uh, it looks resource efficient I, I think it can kind of be, um, I mean, I, I think it's well made, but it can be kind of crazy when things start simulating. If a bunch of stuff is on fire, I've never had slowdowns, but um, I've heard of people complaining about it, but it's really fun. If you, if you like permadeath kind of things, I, I can tell you, I, I've had runs where I've played for two hours and then died. And it's, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> All right, another max health. That's good. If we can get up to 300, I think we've got a shot. All right, let's go. Let's go up and around and see if we can't make it at least to the next uh, portal. Love to find some more health. I would love to find uh, a better wand so that we can use all those lasers, um, those light beams more effectively. As it is, we're going to run out of mana real quick. Now, I do expect... Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. 
Okay. Okay, okay. Everything's alright. There's all these little trade-offs. This game makes all sorts of interesting um, micro decisions. Like, for example, just in that little battle, it's obviously much safer to hit them just as they po poke their head up. That means that the gold is going to drop down, and then it's going to be harder to get the gold. Um, so I could have waited till they got up here, but then they have a better chance of hitting me. Uh, little tiny trade-offs like that are what make games interesting. So this thing shoots these horrible homing missiles. But we don't have a lot of gold. I'm not going to mess with that thing. I'm, let's, let's move on. <clears throat> we'll just keep going to the left. Oops. Um, sell kidney for more gold. <laughs> yeah, that, it, it's interesting. This oh shit, there's another one. He doesn't seem to think he can hit us from there, so let's take advantage of that. Health, gold, and a wand. Um, these are these are really decent projectiles, but the fact that they have this trigger means that they take a lot more mana. I think I'm gonna grab them anyway. I'm going to get rid of these bombs. It's not a bad wand, though. The, 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 the wand that these bombs are in is actually not that bad. Spells per cast, too. Ah, oh, that, that is actually a better wand than I thought. So here's another example where it's it's like what what is the strategic decision i really want to carry this wand because i want these light beams um i don't want to give up our digging wand we could give up our attacking wand but then this is a nice thing i want to hold on to so it's not clear what the right uh the right answer is i'm gonna leave this hopefully oh there's the worm So the reason I wanted the worm is he's got this blood um, teleportati. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So <laughs> we just drank teleportatium. Uh, so now we have teleportitis. Or whatever. I don't know what this game calls it, but teleportitis sounds pretty good to me. Um, I think it's over. So we were randomly teleporting for a few seconds. Luckily, luckily we didn't find our way in, inside of a big group of enemies. Everything's alright. And we've been through here. I think the worm is going to be down here somewhere. Yeah. So, the point. Uh, I was messing with this file. Oh no, now I can't do it. So, I wanted to pick up this stuff. Okay, that's not working out very well. He's being protected by the worm guts. So this stuff, this worm juice, actually lets you see in the dark. And that just realized that doesn't matter because we have inf uh, all seeing eye. So that's kind of a um, not useful thing to do. But we have a vial of worm blood now, so <clears throat> just uh, maybe it's not super useful. But it's kind of interesting that you can do that kind of stuff. Normally it would be useful because we could get, we could see in the dark. Um, when we needed to, but because of the perk that we found, it's not super useful. Alright. 
Now I saw one of these bad, badass uh, skeleton mages over here to the left. So the question is, should we go up? Should we go down? Should we just go to the end of the level? Whoa. That bullet still hit me. Oh, look at this. Two of these machines. I think one is, um... One shoots... A missile. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we should leave them alone, huh? We don't have a super high damaging wand. And it's pretty inaccurate, so let's let's escape them. Let's try this one more time. Let's go left again. Got 93 health. surrounded, that's for sure. Ow. So we got hit, we dropped straight. That is the worst. That is an um, absolute run killer. You get hit in the air and suddenly you fall into a pit of enemies. I don't know how many runs I've had in that way. Chaotic polymorphine. I don't, have we been here? Don't think we have. Ooh, summon rock spirit. It's a pretty interesting one. So those little um, rocks that were chasing us and exploding before, we could actually summon some of them. <sighs> this is a this is a good one. Nine slots. Pretty fast. Lots of recharge speed. Pretty accurate. Nah. I'm going to stick with this other one because it shoots two at a time. Um, so anyway, going back to the kidney thing, I'm kind of surprised there aren't more ways to kind of penalize yourself for a, for a boost. Um, there's a couple of perks that do that where you... You can give up some health to become vampiric, and then you can drink blood. Uh, and that's pretty interesting. It's a it's a decent trade-off, because there's so few ways to heal yourself in this game. To be able to drink blood to heal yourself is a, is a big advantage. Oh, oh, oh. Too slow. The wand kind of sucks. Okay, I saw something that I didn't like. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. This dude is badass. Um, when he dies, a bunch of little dudes come out. Polymorphine. Oh, I think we want that. Let's... Holy shit! Okay, this is not good. So... I believe what's happened is that an enemy has stepped into the polymorphine, the chaotic polymorphine that we left over there, and has turned into something... Oh, no. He picked up a wand. So, okay. I think we should go for the exit. I feel like uh, my life is getting low enough that I'm ready to to skedaddle. Ooh, you almost got me. It's always dangerous dropping down like that. Oh shit. It's 
Speaking of dropping down. Really haven't gotten a whole lot of gold. I'm kind of disappointed in the, the amount of gold. Uh, 33 damage? Come on! Bullshit. Okay, we really want to hit that exit. Like, one more shot can kill us. Whew! That was close. <laughs> Boy, that one shot. It went from controlled situation to, uh, to dangerous situation. Alright. We've got a choice of wands here. We can buy everything, I think. All right, Breathless, Trick Greed, Vampirism, that's what I was talking about before, and then Homing Shots. Homing Shots is decent. Um, homing Shots also kind of has that downside, though, whereas you, it's harder to shoot straight at something far away, maybe because it might try to aim at something else, but... Um, None of these really excite me. I would love... that. So the only way that I've come close to winning is with this spell called Electricity. And um, you really need to be electrically immune to use it. Don't see the spell anywhere in here. Okay. So let's drop these bombs. And let's make a better weapon. <clears throat> See how this goes. I'm not sure this is actually the right thing to do, but... <laughs> I have to say, I don't quite understand why it shoots eight of them at a time, or what appears to be eight. It's only supposed to shoot two at a time. It always casts the circle thing. I thought that was like, it's, maybe maybe that changes the cast layer. Um, okay. So let's maybe make this into our digger. It's better. Um, this is this is a decent wand. So because it doesn't shuffle, we can actually like st strategize um, different things. And then that because it happens in the same order every time, we're guaranteed that uh, um, you know the effects apply the way we want them to. It uses a lot of mana when it shoots, but that's a that's a powerful shot too. It's a little risky. If we miss, we have to wait a while for it to charge back up. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, are any of these wands better? Uh, we want something with high recharge speed, like really high recharge speed. Uh, mana charge, I mean. Eh. All right, let's go for it. So, I 
Explosion immunity, that's useful. Ooh, edit wands everywhere. That's pretty big, because that means we don't have to pick and choose between wands. We can grab the spells and edit them as we go. That's a really big one. But, on the third hand, we've kind of already got decent wands. And I wonder if maybe explosion immunity would be better. We're going to get our butts kicked in this next level. But I'm going to go for edit wands. Shouldn't have done that. But I will. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this turret thing just to our left. If he catches us, if he sees us, he's going to kick our butt. We've got mines and an explosive vase over here to the right. Oh, that's a good weapon. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, shit. How do, how do we lose so much health already? Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, we've lost about 100 health. That was pretty bad. Now my, my theory is that you should, <clears throat> you should try to get rid of the traps when it's safe to do so, so that um, enemies don't pop you accidentally. Oh shit. God, this this level is tearing us apart. It always does. This is a really hard level. Uh, unless you've got some good really good uh, wand. The electric one is is super helpful. Because these um these walls are metal and the electricity passes through them. So you can actually Okay, so there's a healer. If we can get him alone, we can get him to heal us up. The guy with the green weapon can heal people. It's a wand. Oh, see, he's healing his buddy up. Uh, I don't know if we can get to him. This is a shitty wand for us. So these things can actually hurt yourself. They bounce all around and they can cause damage to you. But we really don't want an enemy to get this. So I think I'm going to pick it up, uh, even though I don't want to use it. Okay, hey! Look at that. No, 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 don't die, don't die. Jesus Christ, come back. Stop, I'm trying to put you out. Oh, fuck. Okay. Come here. So if you kick him, it pisses him off, and then he starts healing you. This, finding this out, is probably like the biggest thing. It changed everything. Um, I had no idea that these dudes would heal you. And I don't think I ever would have found out without watching YouTube videos. Um... Now, ideally, you'd have a berserk potion, and if you if you make yourself berserk, he just he just does it. You don't have to kick him. Uh, if you make him berserk, he'll actually heal you more per shot. But 
I'm content just to kick him while he heals us up. This just took the pressure off, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're full health again. Um, we can come back to him if we need a little more health. Okay. So, that's pretty dangerous area right there. It's not, it's not bouncing on the brick wall. Kind of wondering, should we go through there? When you go to the hospital, you should kick the staff. I think definitely. I mean, if they're not, if they're not giving you the right treatment, you know, if they're just hovering in the air and watching you, then you should definitely kick them. Um, I mean, I think that's just... For sure, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That's probably not the best thing to have happened. All right, but we're great. We're doing great. A little choke point here. Kill these dudes before they get to us. Another healer. Uh-oh. Uh, what do we got down here? It looks like the, the turret dude, he might have fallen. I think he's still down there, though. The healer's on fire. We didn't take any damage, though. Boy, that dude is uh, not the brightest. Oof. Oh, this is a good weapon. Speaking of not the brightest. <clears throat> Alright, put myself out. Okay, we're doing we're doing great. This weapon is fantastic. Um, it does it does quite a bit of damage, and it's not really dangerous to us, you know. Like it doesn't blow up, um, it doesn't have self damage, anything like that. Not sure if we can hit him. seem to quite hit him. There we go. Now I'm really only trying to get him because he's got a lot of gold. Well, I thought he did. He didn't seem to drop any. Maybe it got pushed over here. One gold nugget. That was disappointing. Oh, it all it all went through the floor. It's all up there. That's a shame. Well, at least uh, at least we haven't taken a lot of damage. Oh, it's another wand. An enemy's picked up. It's a lot of mana recharge. Capacity twelve. That's pretty decent. I think I'm gonna pick that up. These guys, these guys are just the worst. They're too smart. They gang up on you. Um, and one of those shots just drops you. Okay, we've been through here. <clears throat> what the hell is this? I've never seen this before. It, it's a bar. So I've never seen this. This is some kind of uh, 
A, a bar? What the hell is he shooting? Oh, he's got a wand. Large firebolt and gunpowder arc. Yeah, that's, um... That's not ideal. Let's take that. Why is he not shooting us? I'm scared of this. What's what's gonna happen? Oh, 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 oh. I think it's just for fun. I, I think maybe these bottles contain you know, whiskey or gunpowder or something, because they kind of went off. Looks like nothing really happened when I shot it. I was thinking maybe like Spelunky, they, the, oh, the bartender would get mad. Or... <clears throat> um, I feel like we've got enough health. I'm going to go around. See what else we can find. We're still at the top of the level. You see the brickwork there. Just ruined a small business. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is nothing left. It's another spark bolt with double trigger. That's interesting. Seems kind of wild. Um, well, this uh, <clears throat> this lightsaber wand is really coming handy. His wife and kids are going to go hungry. Ah, now you're almost making me feel bad. All right, we got to watch out. We got enemies to the left, enemies to the right. a wand down there. Oh shit, it's a healer. Uh, fuck. So, this thing... Oh god, he's gonna hit it. This thing is what spews that cold gas. Energy orb. Uh, we, we saw this before. I, I like it. It's a lot of a lot of mana, and the the trigger, not too crazy about. It's a decent wand, but um, let's just leave it. Go oh, crap. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, come here. I gotta kick you. No, no, no. Come up here. No, no, no. Don't go down there. Don't heal him. Shit. Oh, it's two of them. Right. Full health again. Oh, 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 oh. Um... Really good luck with these healers. So, vertical shafts, it's kind of like Minecraft, you know, you don't want to fall straight down because you don't know what might be down there. Um, but it looks like I can hang on this ledge. That was probably a bad idea. I was worried that it might kill these dudes. Okay. So that's clear. Let's go down. Oh! Oh, it's another healer. Damn. What the hell is that? It's a, oh, that is a lot of teleportadium. That is a lot. Okay. 
What's the plan? There's another wand over here. A lot of enemies. But I think we should check out the wand. We really want electricity. Um, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in my ability to, to win without electricity, so... Oh! Beautiful! I shot everybody except for the healer. I am... Oh god, look at this mess. I'm basically... Uh, an amazing cowboy. Fastest draw in the West. Oh, shit, that looks like a big weapon. So we're really limited here by the the time it takes to recharge mana. Let's get this gold before it disappears. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I didn't mean to fall. Alright. Alright, that went pretty well. As best as can be expected, I think. No, these really suck. I don't I don't like these at all. The wand. The wand casts all seven at once. But it has a one second recharge time. It's a, it's an interesting wand. Oh, there's health down there. Definitely want to get that. Um, should we go straight down? I think. I think we should. We'll let him come to us. Now, we're losing out on all this gold, but uh, it's pretty safe. What are we at? 1,100 gold. That's decent. It's a big wand down there. I kind of think the size matters. I feel like the size has something to do with how much stuff is in it. I, I don't really know for sure, but... Um seems to seems to have some some meaning because they seem to be bigger the further you go in the game oh shit what somehow we splashed up some some junk I think okay bad luck but that's okay 220 health Not the best wands in the world, but these are definitely serviceable. Like, being able to cut through this, this iron whenever we want, <clears throat> it's invaluable. And uh, to do as much damage as we're doing. Well, look at this monstrosity. 13 spells, one per cast, 160. It's not bad, I guess. But these um, these charges are all temporary. Like you, you only get to use each weapon twenty five times. Um, that's another thing that I would I would I'm not really crazy about. I feel like I never use these wand these uh, spells that have limited charges. Like I just never use them, and it seems kind of like a wasted uh, a wasted aspect of the game. Maybe other people use them. I don't know. But I don't see much of a reason to. Oh, fuck. Should we, should we go up? Okay. So the safe thing to do, of course, would be to go to the exit. <clears throat> but I think it's worth exploring a little more. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God. 
Everything's going to shit. Got a healer. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here. What are you doing? I need something. Yes. This is where the patience really comes in. He's actually going to heal us up because we found that heart. We have more health than when we started the stage. Almost at 300. Oh, God. A lot of dudes up here. And don't heal them. Oops. All right. Looking fantastic. Okay. Uh, a lot of shit to the left here. Healer turret thing is a wand. I think the turret's gonna have to... Holy shit, somehow we killed the turret without killing the healer. And then he burned to death. Let's get this wand. All right, I like these bolts too. Slow, slow recharge time. Oh my God, I just realized we bought, we bought edit wands everywhere, but I haven't been editing wands at all. We, there's so much stuff we could have picked up. That's, that's pretty bad. Lava to blood. Ooh, that is very, very useful. Um... So the thing that killed me before was was lava, and we can convert it to blood now. Simple as pie. Any lava within range of the projectile turns to blood. Um, okay, convert lava to blood. Oh, let's keep that. So, what about this wand? That's kind of... Okay. Um, now, do we want this back? Uh, one spell per cast. Okay, so what we want to do, I think, is maybe move... Let's actually do this. I don't know if this is better, but it's, it's decent. Okay. Oh, all the wands that we picked up and we, we just left them sitting there. Kind of, like, the prudent thing to do, obviously, would be to go back. But, boy, that would be boring. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh! 
Sniped! Oh, we didn't even get shot. We don't need healing. Back up at the top. This is actually a pretty shallow stage. <clears throat> Maybe we should move. We need a better wand for our digger, I think. So I'm just going to keep going to the left here and I'm um, not going to go back for those other wands even though there's probably stuff that we could use in them. But yeah, just imagine how hard this place is without knowing about the healing dudes. Alright, somebody's got a wand. Right? Because I think that's a wand pedestal. I guess it could be like a, a pedestal for a potion. But I don't see liquid, you know. M maybe toxic sludge. Oh, shit. Okay, a lot of stuff up here. Sniper. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, ooh, we got a dude with a wand. Who knows what that could be? Looks like he just, uh. There we go, he dropped it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so, oh my god, that wand looks like, um, it looks like a really bad wand for us. Um, maybe something like creates lava or something. It just, it just blew everything up in a, in a very wide area. So let's, let's go back and get some healing. We're, we're doing doing fine. There's no need to rush it now. We're almost uh, at the end. So let's let him come up. Or let's kill this other guy at least. Oh, that's, he's not going to last through that. <clears throat> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on. You got it. You got it, buddy. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Can't believe we haven't found the berserker stuff. Oh, shit. No, don't die, don't die. Oh, both the healers died. And um, I think we have less health than when we sought the healers to begin with. So let's keep going right. There were more healers that we left behind. Could run for the exit. But... I don't think I want to. I'm trying to figure out whether we've been here before and there's blood everywhere, so probably. Is that a bomb? Oh, 
as a healer. healer. Oops. Okay, let's check out this wand since we're over here. want this stuff. Hey, friend. Hey, buddy. Now look, I know we work for different teams, and I know I'm kicking you in the face. But I would really appreciate it if you'd heal me up. Uh oh. I have a feeling we're gonna kick him to death before he heals us. But this is good. This is good us to the exit, I think. There's a big one down there. Thank you, friend. All right, there's the uh, alcohol shop. We didn't really get a chance to explore this. I guess alcohol shop, also known as a bar. Um, doesn't seem to be much left. Where was that big guy? Oh, there's health and a chest and a lot of bad dudes. Ouch! they can turn around so there's a couple of different kinds of turrets some of them seem to be directional <clears throat> right, we've got a wand there that I don't think we've touched and there's health below if I remember right okay we cannot aim for shit oh shit oh shit oh shit a lot of health that we lost <clears throat> but um, but another health pickup we're up to 330 max every little bit helps so where was the wand oh shit I bet they picked it up for some reason I see that as as death I love watching the ice crack like that. 
Oh, fuck. Fuck. Come on, man. We're up to 2,000 gold. That'll give us a couple of rerolls. <clears throat> On the perks. That's, a, that's nice. Oh! I just killed a healing body. Poison arc. That's what was dropping the poison liquid. It's too dangerous to, to me. I don't even think you can get resistances to poison. So that's going to stay there. Slow and steady. Wins the race. Now the smoke that fills up the top of the rooms, it can actually asphyxiate you, so you have to be careful. Looks like, um, I think there's a, I think there's a, a wand there. All right, nothing in it, so we dropped all that, so let's... Water to poison, that is not useful. Damage plus, that is useful. Homing is also pretty useful. Let's, um, I never use that. I'll do like these magic bolts. I don't know if they're better than what we've got. Um, these have explosive. These don't. Let's also use more mana because they have the, the timer. Um, let's grab a couple. Blood mist. It's a shame that it's shuffle. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's that. So we have this lava to blood thing. Got to remember that. Okay. <clears throat> so we've made it down to the bottom. I think I'm going to take it now. I think we're ready to, to exit this. Now, we really should keep searching. Maybe I'll take a quick peek. Oh, this is the end. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's another exit. Okay. Um, you know, you should really search the whole thing, but I'm kind of getting bored of this level. So, 
Here we go. Fill up our water, health. What spells do we have? Shitty spells. What perks? Worm detractor exploding corpses. Edit ones. We already have edit ones everywhere. What is the point of that? Luki mutation. So this is new, and I haven't tried this. Um, I think it gives you legs, and I think the legs do melee damage, but I don't think it like helps you move around or anything like that. Uh, what I want are resistances. I want resistance to fire. I want resistance to explosion, electricity. Let's reroll. So toxic sludge immunity, it's not that great because you can just cure it with, with water. And we can't afford to reroll again. Um, slime blood is kind of a mixed blessing. So this is something that I only know because of the wiki, but it makes you bleed slime, which slows you down when you, when you get it all over you. So that's bad. But I think it also makes you take less damage. So that's good. So I kind of wonder if maybe that would be better than toxic sludge immunity. Oh! Slime no longer slows you down. All right. All right. This is looking like it actually is winnable. So uh, before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to take a quick break um, just for a minute. And um, and then we'll try to finish this. So I'll be right back. All right, hello again. So we've got a great run going. Um, this is, I think, the best run I've had where I didn't have lightning. Um, and... Uh, I'm just trying to think. So let, let's try this little trick just to see how it works. <laughs> that's probably the worst thing you can do when you have a run that's winnable. I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So the trick is you turn yourself into a sheep. And you fly over this thing and it prevents the tunnel from collapsing. That way if you ever need to come back through, you can. Um, but if you die as a sheep, you die in real life. So... All right, the game gets kind of crazy here. So there's enemies that poison you. Um, there's a lot of fire. What? Oh shit. These dudes are really quick. Um,
hollow egg, an otherwise empty egg that casts a spell. This doesn't seem like a... Um... Maybe we make this... I don't think we can use that for very much. So a lot of the stuff is flammable. And you see the ground is some, some kind of organic and uh, burns away really easily. Um, these things drop those terrible lava bird uh, bees. Okay. These dudes have tentacles. Ah, there's more of these things. I don't think we need any more, but the wand. Ah. I I don't I don't really want it. Now at this point. I kind of think we can win with what we've got, but I'd like to get more help. I'd like to get a heal. Oh my god, what is going on over there? I'd like to get a, a, a beam that can heal us. Because um, right now we, we, we don't have a way to heal ourselves. <clears throat> we were lucky on that one level because um, those dudes is healing people spawn, but they don't spawn in most regions. Well, they're very rare. So that's most of what I want. Shit. Um, this rock actually hurts you just to touch it. So we're going to stay away from that. Let's go back up and around. <clears throat> I haven't done a whole lot of exploring in this area. Usually when I get to here, I have to drop to the bottom because something terrible happens and uh, and I need to heal real quick. Um, I do know that there's a, a boss, a mini boss here. Um, but he has a lot of fire stuff, so... Since we're not immune to fire, we're going to avoid him. Pheromone. Jesus. I think we could we could do with a better wand. This is this is a decent wand, but um, I don't like the recharge time on it. Oh shit! Somebody's throwing mines at us. I think. Let's let them come to us. Is that health? I think it is. Hey, 390. This might be the most health I've ever had. Okay, really, this is, this is a fantastic run. Right, we'll scout out the area. We're going to go down for that wand. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, so, yeah, this, this wand definitely isn't making us, you know, uh, a, a powerhouse. Mostly because we have to keep waiting to, 
um, to use it a second time. So what was that? Always casts increase mana. Huh. Oh, it's only got four slots. But that would be good for the digger. Or not. Uh, the spider is kind of weirding me out. So I don't, I don't quite know how that works. Clearly, it's not giving us enough mana. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Okay. One to the left. And kind of a different area. It looks maybe like the fungus biome. Oh, there's Berserkium. Um, shit. Alright. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're poisoned. So, with Berserkium, if we do encounter those healers, we can use them more effectively now. A lot of flasks. I don't like that. the look of that. It's a decent wand, but I think what we have is better. Same. I mean, like what we're using has more mana recharge. And it casts three, three of them at a time. I think that big burst damage is really helping us. I don't I don't know. <clears throat> There's probably uh I'm probably missing some great strategy, but I really don't like these hornets. And that, that thing shoots these terrible missiles. So, oh, there's one down there. Gotta watch out. Oh, okay, there's a worm. I, I thought that's where the wasps came from. Okay, did not mean to do that. I I guess what the worm did was just went straight down and hit the 
the sacred ground between levels. Don't quite understand why he would have done that, but uh, used to be a really big problem, but they mostly patched that out, I thought. Okay, these spawn worms, the more you know. Some of them drop hearts, but it might just be the big ones. Uh, the glowing is coming. We just drank his blood because that's just how it roll. Um, okay, if we drop down... Yeah, there's shit down there. Yes. So... I expect that we're close to the bottom because the worm desecrated the holy ground. There, there it is. <clears throat> so, should we keep exploring for health mostly? Uh, better wands, I suppose. It's probably the right thing to do. Since we have so much health. I mean, uh... Since we haven't gotten hurt, oh shit. Gold for perks as well. Oh shit, I forgot we didn't kill him. Still alive? Oh god, oh god, there's another one. All right, this is this is where things go crazy, right? You, you all of a sudden you're pushed into an area you haven't explored. Uh, you drop down, you get hit by a thousand things. Game can end real quick. All right, pushed him down. Oh, there's health and a wand. These are nice. These can dig into stuff. I don't, I don't know if it's better than this. Maybe, maybe it only burns into soft materials. I think that that's how it works. But um, I think might as well put them over here. Okay. I don't know if I've seen this guy. So the slime blood actually is way better than I thought because slime is a serious problem. And being immune to slime, that is nice. Okay, those dudes are, those dudes are rough. It's a wand. Oh shit. Let's let's deal with him. Fuck. Slow and steady. Come on, man. So we yeah, have one thing that I like to do is kind of sort of poke out into the little space to to see if anybody's going to shoot at you. And then hop back. Uh, sucky mana recharge speed, but lots of mana. That actually might be a decent lightsaber weapon, just because it has so much mana and you only use it for a little bit. I don't know what to... Good. Oh! 
oh, 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 oh. Always casts Death Cross. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not the best, uh, the best, the safest option. Um, I can't believe I missed that. Um, yeah. Let's. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I know that some of the weapons can hurt you, and I kind of feel like I've killed myself with Death Cross before. I feel like some of them I hit myself with that I go the whole game without hitting myself with. The light arrows is one. It's like, how do you hit yourself with light arrows, but then all of a sudden you do, and you die? So I'm really scared of doing self-damage. That seems like a big explosion. Maybe it's you need explosion immunity. I don't know, but I'm not going to use it. Disappointed that there's no gold in there. What the, what the what was that? All right, let's uh, let's skedaddle. Doing really great. 425 health. Probably the most health I've ever had. Get to buy some wands, which is good. Maybe we can find something nice. The worm really... Wait, was that the worm? If we get maximum HP from hearts now, will it apply retroactively? If it would... That's uh, pretty significant. If it doesn't, that would pr that would be a big mistake. Or we could re-roll. I would love explosion immunity. I don't I don't know. Cause like extra HP from hearts. If we got that now, that would be big, right? We've got we've picked up so many hearts. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to Google it. Uh, no need to extra HP from hearts. Retroactive. It's not retroactive. Well, I'm glad that I looked that up. So let's roll. Okay, we can't roll again. These aren't great. Revenge Explosion, um, I kind of think it gives you Explosion Resist, but it also just makes everything blow up. This is, there's, this game is fantastic, but the fact that it's so wiki heavy, um, I think is a, is a, is a real downside. Like, you would think Revenge Explosion. So it doesn't say that it prevents uh, damage from explosions, but like th these other things. So for example, the Slime Blood, it has a hidden stat of 40% projectile resistance. You'd never find that out unless you look stuff on the wiki. So that, that kind of thing I don't like. I don't really like any of these. I'm gonna get invisibility. Um, problem is invisibility only works when you're not covered in goop, and you're almost always covered in goop. Is that? I think that's electricity. Oh, can't afford it because I bought the reroll. Okay, but the worms have knocked all into this, so we can come back and get it if I remember, which I'm not going to. See, the spells really start to get crazy. 
this bar down. So we don't have electri electrical resistance, so electricity is not very useful now. I would have used it in my previous level, but not, not as far down as we are. Okay, so let's Let me get rid of it. I I'm just too worried about hurting myself. Okay, lava to blood. We, we, want, we want that. Gonna stick these in here to, to clean up the inventory a bit, and um, that's that's why these are here is just to save space too. All right. Oh, this is exciting. So. We angered the gods, but I didn't actually see... There's a protector who comes and defends this area once you've... Well, you, once you've destroyed it. He's not here, so I kind of wonder if he's fallen. We're going to find out soon enough. Huh? Don't see him. All right, we're very close to the end. There's, I think, just two levels, including this one, to go. Damn, I have a lot of health. So, we, we really need a better wand for this. That, that bomb uh, is kind of a pain. Oh, shit. Spraying acid, I believe? Okay, let's... Um... <laughs> let's just hang out over here while it, uh, while it goes off. can't remember what this area is called. Maybe the lab? Oh god. I don't even know what these dudes do. What is that thing? Is that healing? I think that thing is healing. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. God, we've lost half her health. Um, did we kill the... I think we killed the healing thing. I don't know if it would have healed us anyway, because I've never seen one of those. Okay, we've lost half of our health. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No! This is not... I don't want to lose it like this. I can't, I can't fly, I can't fly! Oh my god, I keep getting hit! The stun lock is real! Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> is there anything we can do? We need to get to the end, but we need to get safe before we do that. Oh my god, it's a good thing we had so much health, but I, I think that this is it. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh no, there's an enemy. Holy shit, we have 10 health. We have 10 health. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have to get to the end, like, pronto. Oh my god. We just lost 5 health. Oh my god. Somehow we have to get to the end without getting hit. Like, I think anything is going to hit us once and kill us. So, we want to go... Oh shit. We want to drop straight down. Don't, don't touch the gas. Oh my god. We want to drop straight down. And we need to be safe about this, but... Uh, I don't know how to be safe about this, like... Oh god, he shoots. Alright, if we go down, he's gonna come left. Oh god, don't get... Don't get set on fire. No, don't. No, 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 no. This is not good. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a wormhole. Holy shit. How are we still alive? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! How do we get so far with five health? I knew that he exploded, too. I knew he exploded on death. Ah. Uh. That's the thrill, man, of these um, permadeath games. It's like, it means so much to, to lose, and, and therefore it means so much to, to succeed. Jesus. So, that was the most health I've ever gotten before. I feel like, um, I feel like I've lost too many games to that to that stun lock process where there's no way to retreat back to safety. And uh, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It doesn't feel... Um, it, it's like you've prepared and then there's really nothing you can do because you can't just sit there. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how to handle it. Like, obviously, if we had different equipment, we could have done something differently. Uh, but I don't know what we could have done there. All right. Well, I think one, one playthrough is going to be enough for, for me today. So, uh, so thanks for watching. And um, see you next time.